Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Calling me when you need that uh, top case replaced. No, I'm just trying to get this. Uh, I got video content here. It's on VHS. I'm trying to get it into my Mac. It's not gonna work. Ah, well, I'll try it with a DVD. Nothing. Nothing. I don't know how else I'm going to do it. Oh, of course I know how I'm going to do it. With the ITV250+, Plus, I needed to pick it up anyway for uh, Gnome Dex, uh, the conference that uh, is going on this weekend. In fact, I've got my Gnome Dex 8.0 t-shirt on. I'm Superman! It says, human circuitry, with a little bit of steak that I just ate a few minutes ago, sitting right in the R. <laughs> what do you know? Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know if we're going to be selling this, these shirts online or what. Uh, maybe we will. I think it's kind of cool, human circuitry. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's going to be the uh, Gnome Dex ethos moving forward. So, anyway, uh, the reason why I needed an ITV 250 Plus uh, for Gnome Dex, uh, actually, I could have gotten a, another uh, product from Elgato, uh, but I decided to go with the 250 Plus for one reason I'll get into, it was because I needed a way to take a video feed out from the cameras that are going to be at the conference and, you know, streaming out to the web at live.perilla.com and... CNN.com slash live is also going to be carrying Gnome Dex in its entirety. Uh, very happy to uh, report that uh, with our partnership with CNN.com slash live. Uh, so we needed a way to get that video feed into this. Well, obviously, there are really not a lot of inputs in a Mac or a MacBook or, you know, really any old computer unless you have some kind of conversion card or some piece of hardware that sits in between the signal and where you want it to go. Uh, so, uh, Elgato has a product called ITV, and this happens to be ITV 250 Plus that includes this little cable, and this cable uh, would accept, looks like, is that S video? Yeah, I think that's S video. And there's audio, and there's right and left channel, you know, the white and red, and then of course a uh, composite video connection, the yellow cable. It's not going to be perfect, but uh, the good thing is, is that this particular unit, the uh, i 5250 Plus, or the ITV, 250 plus has got a hardware encoder built in so the video quality is about as good as it's going to get so once the video signal comes into here so long as it's coming into here then it goes out and into the computer with this uh, you may have heard of it USB if that sound familiar at all so that is how I'm going to get a signal from point A to point B I could do this with anything so if I've got a, a VHS tape or a DVD and I need to get it from there to this I don't think there's gonna be an easier way and the nice thing is that the ITV unit, this unit, will specifically record and export to iPod, iPhone, or Apple TV. So, if you happen to be a, an owner of any of those products, you're really going to like this. This also has a coaxial connection, which would allow me to record TV shows. That's right, it comes with software that's a really good, well, basic DVR that a lot of people uh, have enjoyed. And though I have not had any experience with it, uh, you might remember a while ago we did a review, as I dig into my bag of tricks, of, uh, hang on, one minute, I got it, oh, got it, got it, got it, did the Elgato two, Turbo uh, 264, uh, which would uh, basically speed up any kind of video conversion into H.264 format, uh, this is another USB uh, device, and again, we've done a video review, we'll have to link up to it, this is essentially sitting in here, uh, and then of course has a, a whole lot more, now the one negative I would say uh, about uh, this particular, the i fifty two fifty, the ITV two fifty plus. The only negative I can see right up front is that it requires an AC adapter. Blah! Why doesn't it just charge by USB? Why doesn't it draw its power by USB? Probably takes too much, most likely. But uh, if it's got high quality and it, it does everything that I needed to do, uh, I'm going to be happy. So Lenny or Wireless Packet, uh, I remember he had uh, pinged me on Ventrilo a few months ago. You got another Elgato product that uh, was related to at least television recording. It was at the HDTV, uh, one, another uh, Elgato product. Was that right, Lenny? Got to give him a couple seconds. Yeah, it was the uh, ITV. Uh, yeah, give me a couple seconds. It was the uh, ITV uh, hybrid USB stick. It does over-the-air HD. Um, love it. Uh, DVR software. 
um, has a built-in web interface, so when you do capture your, you know, the TV shows that you want to record, you could actually specify, like you said, iPod, Apple TV, other formats, and you could actually access that information over the internet if you port forward, and also on your local network. So it's amazing. I love it. It's great. Really, I wonder if this has got the same kind of feature. It's got the one-click export, search programs and schedule with a built-in program, record TV shows, rewind, fast-forward, pause TV, watch digital and analog TV on your Mac. But it'll take, it should take any old signal. I mean, that's kind of what it's, it's built to do, and it's what we need specifically for our conference. So anyway, uh, I'm, I'm, I am an Elgato fan. As I uh, mentioned, the Turbo uh, 264 has been a, a nice uh, addition to my, uh, I guess, collection of, of video-related hardware. Although I don't get much use out of it since most of my computers, uh, you know, have a lot of uh, power for video conversion, and it's very CPU-intensive. Uh, if you've never... Uh, never thought of getting one and you have a, a, um, you know, a slightly older computer or slower computer and you do a lot of video encoding and you can't really upgrade, uh, one of those uh, conversion tools or aids is probably going to get you a lot further. So if anybody has any experience with any of the ITVs, I'd certainly be uh, you know, open to hearing your thoughts. And uh, even though I know uh, my contacts at Elgato don't realize that I'm, you know, I had gotten one of these things, I'll certainly be reaching out to them uh, in the near future to tell them my experiences. Oh, and I forgot, it also comes with You know, if they made blankets in bubble wrap, I'd totally buy one or two. Probably have to buy more than that. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Feel free to drop me a line, especially if you had any experience with uh, the ITV 250 Plus or any of the Elgato products, or you have alternatives you'd like to recommend for Mac or Windows or Linux users. Certainly welcome to hear your feedback. And you're also welcome to stop by the chat room, which is open pretty much all the time. Uh, in fact, right now, uh, you never really know what's going to happen in the chat room. Uh, you never really know what I'm going to be doing. But here's the thing. You can tune into the live video feed, which is streaming out uh, right now. Uh, I mean, not now in the, the sense that we're recording this live, but it's also like streaming at the time that you're watching it because it's always open. So is the chat room. And uh, we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> 